Okay, just wanted to take a minute today and go over how the data logger gets set up. So I've got FlexiSoft open and the product that we've chosen is the FP3070 TNE. So if we just drop down the project tree to data logger, um, you can see that we have, we can either do internal memory or we can do external memory. So you can actually put an SD card into the slot on the side of the screen. So for this uh, video, we'll just do the internal memory. So the first thing that we need to do is just um, say there's one group here. So we say one group and then we have to select the group. Uh, we can actually have up to four groups of different logging. So um, if you need to log two different uh, data types uh, right now we can only log one data type per group so you would say group one uh, is an unsigned variable and then you can say group two is a, a float variable for example so uh, that's that's the purpose for having uh, multiple groups and uh, they renew is working on having where you can have multiple data types in one group so that is coming but it's just not available at this point um, and then you have uh, what do you do if the memory is full so you can do first in first out or you can just stop logging altogether. so i think most times people would choose the first in first out so just choose that but you can do whatever you like memory size here you can choose what memory size you want um, the 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 decision here is basically how long it takes to uh, download the data onto a memory stick uh, so if you have 256 k byte uh, memory it's going to take a shorter amount of time for you to download the data onto a memory stick whereas if you had 20 meg it's going to take quite a while to download all that uh, memory into a, a memory stick so uh, if you don't need you know a lot of memory or if it's something that you're going to be taking and downloading the memory you know once a week then you probably don't need a whole lot um, if this is something that you're going to be logging like over a year's time or five years time then you want to have uh, like 20 megabyte um, so for this example we'll just keep 256k k byte and here again you can choose the data type uh, you can see we don't have a boolean data type so what you do here is have some kind of logic where you have your uh, boolean uh, if it's on you just write one to like an unsigned register if the boolean is off then you just write a zero to the unsigned uh, register so you can you can create some logic there uh, the log logging mode here there's different modes so you can say create a log when the system powers on and it just creates one log you can have start stop time where you can uh, set a, a time every day of when you're going to log and um, you can have a key task so if the operator presses a key on the on the screen then it will just create a log at that point uh, logging with runtime frequency and it just gives us a, a warning here a runtime logging frequency for this logging mode must be greater than or equal to 30 minutes so we just keep that in mind when we're setting these variables um, we have a bit task so uh, this is there's a bit that's uh, basically create a log and whenever that is turned on through logic or wherever it will create a log and this is also log it every uh, 10 seconds or you can say whatever this is so in other words, if the bit is on and it's continuously on, then it will create a log every 10 seconds or whatever you set this time interval to. 
Um, the most common one that we see and that we use is the event based. And so here we can define what the logging bit is. So, you know, we can create a new tag, a new tag here, a new Boolean tag. And uh, so we just say add tag and we can say it's a Boolean and we could just say um, logic bit, maybe logic um, data log bit, something like that. So now we can choose that. So close this. We're going to select this tag. So now when this with this setting on every positive edge of that bit turning on we create a log. So you can do negative edge or you can do both edges. So just usually most people do positive edge. So this bit can be controlled in logic or can be controlled by the screen or, or wherever you want to. So we can do normal logging um, and this is um, this is just the bit turns on and I think the bit probably has to be held on for you know 20 or 30 milliseconds something like that to be able to capture it or if it's something like a transient uh, signal and you want to create a log on a very short um, pulse like a one millisecond or five milliseconds then you would have to set this to fast logging so most of the time you just choose normal logging so that's how we set up when to log and then here we can define um, what variables we want to log so we just select the variables uh, so if we want to record the screen trigger register we can just click add and it's going to add it to this logging um, we can record the time and the date and all those variables that's pretty common so that you have uh, you have a, a record for when exactly something was logged so that's that's pretty common and then you know you might have a tag in here that's pressure or temperature something like that so but that's pretty much how you uh, define the data logging again you have internal memory or external memory I think this is fairly new uh, so the update that I'm using right now is 2.33.07. So depending on the update that you have, you may or may not have this, but uh, Renew is going to be putting an update out here in the next couple of days that will have um, all these functions put into it.